Hello, Jess Good here, back from another thoughts video, and today we're taking a look at the LEGO City 2016 winter sets. And these pictures were actually released on LEGO server yesterday, and we're going to be taking a look at each individual ones, and these will be all of the winter 2016 sets. Some of these are actually showing up in stores already, but uh, without further ado, let's take a look at these sets. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is the Prison Island set. This is the biggest of all of the Winter 2016 LEGO City sets. And people complain that each every few years they release new city sets that are police and fire in uh, the winter waves. And guess what? This year it's no different. But I have to say I do like Prison Island. I'm not going to lie. I know, I know. Because of this, they're going to make more and more because we like it and stuff like that. But I guess it's a nice change up to uh, the police station uh, build that we expected from this year. So this one has a little hot air balloon, which I love. It has this nice little island area, of course, which is where the prison's at, uh, which I like that rocky build they use. They use a lot of rocky uh, gray pieces and stuff like that. And you can see everything right here in this picture. This one, you can see there are some little different, like there's a hole right here, which is like a little escape route. And then you can see right here, honestly, I wish it was bigger. I, I, I thought from the outside it looked really big, but from this inside, it doesn't look so big, which makes me kind of sad. But it looks like they escaped through the high voltage little door right there. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame that's not bigger. Um, I think that policewoman with uh, the little tan hair, uh, what it seems like they're doing with city sets recently is they take... Uh, one from an expensive set and they put it in a cheaper set and she is in the police uh, minifigure set and she's one of the desirable minifigures for that tan hair and everything so that's what they do to take uh, more expensive figures and put them in cheap sets uh, next up is the police boat and it's a police boat nothing really interesting here I mean to be fair I don't think we've gotten like a police boat and I may be wrong with this since 2011 like a, a police boat because I don't think we got one in 2013 or 2014. Like an actual like boat like this. Like you can see like it's actual boat. Like it's not like a, a dinghy or anything like that. Or you see how that, that red little raft right there. I remember they did something like that maybe in 2014. I don't remember. Honestly, there's so many police sets over and over again. But what is cool is that they're going back to the black color scheme for police, which I do like. Or at least with that boat right there. Um, this one is the Crooks Hideout. Um, and the police boat, I don't know. I would guesstimate at like 50 to 40 or heck. They might even put 60. I would guess like 50 or $40. Either way, not going to even think about picking that up. But this one is kind of cool. It's a it's a Crooks Hideout. I always like these Crooks Hideout. They've done these since basically 2013. They've, they've released like a Crooks Hideout every, like, I think they've released at least one every year. Um, and they've, they've all never really disappointed. Like, I, I loved, my favorite one was probably the Helicopter Arrest, I think it was called. I never got to pick that up. And it's been on sale a lot. Um, and, and that one's cool because it came with like an apartment building, which I loved. Uh, but this one is, it's it's like the cave, which we had one of these, I think, in 2014, which was a Walmart exclusive. I think this one will probably be a Walmart exclusive as well. Uh, but uh, you can see there's this little garage right here, which is where they escape with the boat. So I do kind of like this set, and I'm guessing this will be 30. If it's 30, that's a great price, and it looks like it'll be 30. Um, but it looks like that's also a new big, ugly rock piece. Um, cause that's just one whole piece right there. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I want to see more of that when this set comes out. Uh, next up is the police chase. This set is pretty neat. Uh, cause I like the crook right here. Cause I think the crook might have a new face, but I might be wrong with that. Um, because I know there's a smirking face like that, but I, it just looks, this one looks a little bit more evil, but maybe that's just his outfit that he's in. But I like his little uh, pickup truck right there. I love the pickup truck build. Don't care for the police car, but the pickup truck is really, really cool. Um, I would have to compare this, I guess, for 2013. Uh, the last time we got like a generic kind of, or no, that would be 20. I don't even know. See, I'm losing. Tr I'm losing track of when we got these generic kind of police stuff because we got a we got a police station in 2014. So it's like two. I don't even know, but this is this is much like the 2013 High Speed Chase with Chase McCain. Um, it's like that set. And then this one is the Tire Escape, which I love that name, and I love this set because it comes with that nice villain right there, which, he, again, I think he comes in a more expensive set, um, which I think, does he come in, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, you see, he comes in the big uh, the uh, Prison Island set, so that's where they're doing, it's another one where they took 
uh, one from an expensive set and they put it in a cheap set because I'm pretty sure that face is exclusive and that outfit's exclusive, so I love that. In terms of exclusive to this minifigure alone, which comes in two sets. Um, and then that little police draft, who cares, whatever. I'm, not, I'm probably not even... I, if I get the set to review, I'll review it and then I'll take that apart, but it's just the minifigure alone that I love. And I love that he's in a little tire. I think that's hilarious. Um, next up, there's a camper van. Honestly, look, I'm a sucker for campers. Um, I have every single LEGO City camper up to this point, uh, but... I don't know if I'm going to get this one. I like the car more than the camper, which is kind of sad. Um, it's one of the ones where they put a car in front, so it's kind of like the car and caravan. I think this one's actually called the car and caravan. So I got that, but it looks like it's that plus the 2014 camper um, for that back camper. So you got the 2012 car and caravan and 2014 camper put together into this set. Uh, I say I don't want to pick it up, but I'll probably pick it up. But yeah, meh, don't really care. Um, but I'm going to pick it up. Any you see? Like, it's like, I'm like, I don't care, but I'm going to get it anyways. Ugh, gosh. I hate LEGO City for this, because they're like, it's like, ugh, I don't care, but you know, I'll get it. It's like, why did I do this? I don't know why I do this. Um, then this one's called, like, the Fire Engine. A lot of, this is probably the biggest fire presence for a while. I have to say, maybe since 2010, if I'm right. Because um, I know 2013, we had some fire sets, but not as much as this year. We have, like, six fire sets this year. This one's a fire engine. It's been a while since we got like a long fire engine like this. Um, I like the burning apartment and really what they do with these, what they've been doing since 2013 for fire sets, they put some great civilian stuff and they stick it in there and they make you wanna buy it because uh, the civilian builds are great. And uh, I mean, I like this little civilian burning apartment, but even then it's really looking hat like kind of superficial like it's it's not really that well made now when i look at it not going to pick this up whatsoever i'm just saying it's i like that little civilian build right there and then i like this civilian build where it's this one's even better i think because it's a tv like little broadcasting satellite but i don't like the fire stuff and you know they're going to make this like 30 dollars or something and i can imagine this fire engine to be like 40 dollars ugh um so yeah cause city sets are pretty darn overpriced um and i i, I use overpriced like sparingly with lego but i could actually say this is overpriced not um pricey because when i say pricey it means it's high priced but when i say overpriced i mean it's not worth what it's uh what it costs um and we got the fire station which like i said i've said this before it reminds me of the um diagon alley where you got side building side building in the middle um also like temple bear jitsu you know i like that type of build um best part about this burning hot dog cart even then it's it's not the best build out there i just like the lime colors and i like that big lime umbrella piece that's a great piece that they don't use so often um but other than that it's just a fire station i have a fire station already um but you can see this right here and also you get a dalmatian which is always nice um so that's it's it's a interesting little thing but, oh, that's that's actually tied with the Prison Island, because Prison Island, I would guess, is 100, and this, I would guess, is 100, too. And then, oh, you got a fireboat, too. Um, it's a it's a, it's, it's a fireboat. I could imagine this is probably, like, $80 or $70. Um, I like the little civilian build, of course. Uh, I mean, the lighthouse isn't so good, but um, I love that little side part right here, the little shack. I think that's actually an awesome build. Um, but, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a fireboat. Woohoo. Do, doesn't interest me whatsoever. Uh, this one is the fire helicopter, and I do like to set for one thing. What is it? The civilian build, which looks like it's like a burning dumpster. But what I like is this little piece right here. You can see they use those for those little side parts. It's like a new panel piece, if I'm correct, uh, where they have these little indentations on it. It's also in uh, the helicopter or the, the the crook hideout that I looked at earlier. There's like a few of those in there, but uh, so and that's much cheaper than the set. But this gets a better look at those. I really like how that came out, and I like this civilian build right there. Not going to even imagine picking this up because I don't care about the helicopter whatsoever, and then the helicopter's going to make it like $50 or $60. And I don't even remember there was, I didn't even know there was a set. Now that I'm looking at this one, what the heck? So there's like three different fire cars? Wait, wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, wait. Yeah, because, what? There's three, what the? Okay, so there's this one with the satellite. This one with the, the fire engine in the burning apartment or whatever. I don't even know. Then there's this, what the? I guess this is a twenty dollar one. Woohoo! Uh, this one has. I have no incentive to buy this whatsoever. Except that I like that little sign right there. But other than that, I, there's absolutely no incentive. And that's that's just a little, a little uh, sticker. So really, I don't know why they made two separate sets. Cause ugh, whatever. 
Um, then this one, this is an exclusive pick just for Just Too Good, and uh, it's, a, it's a fairy set. Um, this is actually one of the most interesting sets of this wave, and I have to say it's probably my second favorite of the whole wave, uh, because it's we've never gotten like a fairy like this, and uh, for City at least. And I don't know, just I like the simple design of it. It's going to be like $30, and I like how the girl has Black Widows here. I think this is a great set. And I love that card too. I, I mean, I, I just like everything about that set. So I'm going to definitely pick this up because it's such an unconventional build. Like we haven't gotten a fairy from Lego City before. Uh, then you got the, the garbage truck. I do like the garbage truck, I'll be honest. I like the garbage truck. Harkens back to the 2007 orange one, um, but it also has elements from uh, uh, Garbage Truck Getaway, which came with Twitch from Toy Story, uh, where you, you could use the little stuff to pick up the garbage and put it in, which I love. Um, and then this is my favorite set from the whole the whole wave, uh, the ambulance plane. I like this set a lot, but it's not perfect. What I loved, my favorite, one of my favorite sets, city sets ever, or probably my favorite city set that I don't own, is the, it's it's the second one would be the limousine, the helicopter limousine, but the first one is the ambulance plane, which is an airline promotional set. Love that set. I never got it because it's super expensive online because it's airline promotional. This one is almost as good as that. I don't like how they have the little rotors like like right here. I, I wish it was more of a sleeker plane design than uh, I, I see. I'm not so good with planes, um, so I, I don't know really what to call it. But basically, the design I guess is too is uh, see. I don't like there's there's probably like a certain because it's a certain type of plane, but I don't know what to call it. Um, I don't know, but I wish it was more like the one from the airline promotional set, which you guys could see right here. Um, but anyways, this set right here, I love any rescue stuff whatsoever, and I freaking I'm pissed off that I never got that helicopter rescue set from 2012. Ugh, don't remind me about that, because they're never going to release another hospital again. It was like, it's like every six years, so woohoo, 2018 hospital. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's basically, I, I like rescue stuff i love the ambulance plane airline promotional set and this is almost as good so this is my favorite out of the whole uh 20 2016 stuff um for city winter stuff uh this one right here is a it's a four by four i don't really care about this one honestly i do like the new octon jacket so i think that's actually a really cool torso print uh this is a speedboat i do like this because i like boats and it's a cheap set ten dollars and i love those little circular jumper plates in white love getting those because those are plates for me i love that those are like actual minifigure plates and then we got uh, the the race car right here, rally car, I think they call it, which is a great, great uh, set from what I've seen. I've known I know Jing did a review of it, um, and I like the yellow colors on it. I haven't seen his review actually. I gotta probably see that. Maybe it sucks, um, but I like also the little printing on the front where it says light, 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 and it has like little mean faces on it. Um, yeah. Uh, this one is the fire starter set, which I love it when they call it fire starter sets because it's like you're going to start fire with this. But there's also a set from last year called Firestarter set. And this one I think is a little bit better. And I'm going to probably get this set because I love those. You see those little pieces right there, the little brown um, 1x2s uh, bricks with the little crevice in the middle. I need those for a mock, and I like them, so I might get this set. Um, but the minifigure selection really isn't interesting whatsoever. There's not really any desirable minifigures, unfortunately. Um, but the fire boat itself isn't so bad. And then we got this little fire set right here, which I actually like so much because of one thing one thing about this set and that is that guy's face has if you see i might be wrong about this but you could see that it has a new print on it so that makes me really want to get this set because i love faces with new prints and i think that's one where they took it from a, a desirable minifigure from a more expensive set because maybe he's in the fire station or something this one right here is the prison island set that's what I was talking about earlier, where you got that female cop right there. Um, so they, so she was in the, she's in Prison Island. They put her here. I love that tan hair. Other than that, don't really care for this set. Uh, but I do like some of the crooks. Like I like the crooks jacket right there. Um, <clears throat> don't think I got that set from, tw or that got that torso from 2013, uh, City Police, because that's where it was first from. So yeah, that's it for pol or for Lego City. I was going to say Lego Police because basically that's what it is. No, I'm kidding. Um, people say that all the time. But yeah, I mean, what you got, you guys got to keep in mind, what sells is police stuff and fire stuff. So you got to keep releasing them. Yeah, but I mean, I think if they tried more new stuff, then they wouldn't have to keep releasing them every few years or whatever. But I do like how they're trying new stuff where they, they you know, change up police stuff. I mean, it's a step in the right direction, but it's not totally there. So uh, we'll see if this cycle continues forever and ever, but I'm sure eventually it'll stop. But for now, you guys can express what's your favorite sets. I already told you what's my favorite sets from these. Uh, the ambulance plane, 
then it is the ferry, and then probably Prison Island, but I know I'm not gonna get Prison Island. So I'd say the the camper, just because that's the one I'm gonna get. Those are the, the, those three, the ferry, uh, the camper, and the uh, ambulance plane I'm gonna get for sure, but everything else I don't know if I'm gonna get. So that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later.